Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important app name as GC Mob. So basically it is used to connect a CP plus CCTV camera on your mobile phone. In this video, we are going to discuss with you what actually GC Mob app is, what are its features and function and how you get the GC Mob in mobile, how you configure the GC Mob to make the camera live and able to access all the feature. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel and please press press the bell icon also notification of all up upcoming videos. So GC Mob app basically what is GC Mob? So the GC Mob app is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your on your mobile. Means you are able to connect a CCTV GC CB plus CCTV camera on your mobile phone. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote location over the internet okay if we are talking about its feature and function so you can see the multiple channel at a time you can watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the videos you control the ptz camera you can save the live view of the camera and you take the backup of the recorded videos and many more so now we'll tell you that how you get the software software so just click on the play store and click on the uh, gc mob app okay and after that just click on the install button when you click on the install button just wait for a few few minutes it will take time now it is you see and again it will take time to install the soft uh, software on your or, or the app on your mobile phone once it is successfully installed then you should see the open option on your screen now it is completely downloaded and now it is start installing now it's checking for whether it, 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 it is a, a good software it is, it is a software free from the malware and trojan now you find that safe is enabled just click on the open now this is the interface of the software let's click next and here you it asks for allow DC mob to access photos and media so it it uh, so in my case i just allow it if you don't want to need you it's it's your cho choice and now here it asks for a camera or door phone just click on the camera and click the next this is the interface of the software now what should you do just click on this three line on the top of the left corner just click on this and after that here you find a device manager option just click on the device manager option now here you find the two options like remote devices or local devices if you are on the same network means your lap your mobile phone and your device is on the same network then you should click on the local devices otherwise you should click on the remote remote devices so i have a remote devices just click on so i just click on the remote devices and in the top of the right corner you find the plus video button so just click on the this plus top uh, this plus button but you do this here you find a lot of things like wi-fi devices wired wired devices cloud devices device initialization so basically if you have wi-fi cam so you should click on the wi-fi devices otherwise you have a traditional dvr and vr then you should click on the wired devices so just click on the wired devices and click on the next when you do this you you find a lot of them like ip domain or install on if you enable install on your device means then you should click on install on otherwise you have a static ip or like that you should click on the ip domain so in my case i have uh, i've enabled my install on so how you enable install on uh, i have i will make a separate video for that you should simply just click on uh, your device just log in your device and go to the network option and after that you should find how you click on install how you enable install on so I, have, I already enabled it so I just click on the install on when I do this here it asks for a several thing like name so in the name you can find anything ok and here you should ask that it is written that serial number so in serial number you should have a two option like if you in front of your DVR and VR then you just click on this 
barcode icon when you do this you find again you should allow this so i just allow so he, you should do this it asks me like a qr code it, it asking for me to scan the qr code okay and now here you should click this the when you click uh, just little left on the qr code and then it asks for a serial number to enter manually so i just insert my serial number manually so here is my serial number Now you see that uh, I enter my manual num my serial number. So basically, basically, this is serial number and username and password. This all of devices means the device you are adding. And now it's for uh, username of the device and again the password of the device. So here I enter my password of my device. Now click Start Live Preview. When I do this. You find within a second, or it totally depend on the internet speed at my lo my uh, location and the uh, remote locations. Here you find that uh, my device is online. Okay. Again, you find just click on three line, and here you find the device uh, playback and the many more option. Okay, look like. If you have a uh, here you find if you change the view of the camera here you find nine camera 16 camera view again here a uh, little uh, camera time camera type I can just click on this it will take a snapshot and again just beside just little uh, video camera icon button just click on this it will start recording your videos on your phone and if you want to check the playback just again click on three line and here you find the playback option like this okay again it asks to me to add a camera just click on this and here you should see that it asks for uh, me to enter the date so I just enter my date And click OK. So I will select my date to seven same date 17 T uh, 17. Okay. And just in all like I type uh, all and just here you find my device. Just click on the test device and select the camera. And here you should see that it, it comes live okay so in that way you can check the playback and in and playback also you can change the snapshot and the recorded record the video and even you can trim the video you can download the video so when you click on the scissor option you are able to download it so this is all for this app so thank you for watching and thank you once again for subscribing and sharing our video and subscribing our channel thank you have a nice day